I wanted to give you a little overview of the 123D design interface. Um, so this is the window. First, I'm going to go ahead and click Sign In. Signing in allows you to store your files on a cloud account so that you can access them no matter what computer you're connected to. Okay, now that I'm signed in, I'll give you a little walkthrough. So first I'm going to just drag some solids out here so that we have some things to move around. Okay, so up top here in the right hand corner is our navigation uh, box. And I'm going to click on that. And clicking the different sides of the box allows you to move around and change your perspective. Um, sometimes you might get turned upside down. And then the easiest way to get back over is just to click these rotational arrows, and it'll rotate the whole workspace for you. And if you ever get super lost, you can click the Home button, and it'll take you back to the original starting point. Okay. So we also have the rotate or orbit option. And if you right click and hold your mouse down, you can orbit the screen around. This just kind of rotates the work plane. There's also the pan tool, and this is over here on the right hand side. You can click that, and you'll see that your arrow turns into uh, these crosshairs. And this allows you to click and drag with the left mouse button and move the work plane up and down or left and right. There's also an orbit tool on uh, the same toolbar here on the right hand side. And so you can do it with your left mouse button. And again, if you ever get super lost, you got the home button to take you back. And then there's the zoom tool on the toolbar. And you left click and hold and you can zoom in and out. You can also do this with your middle mouse button. And to get back to the regular selection tool, you just hit Escape, and you'll see that your arrow turns back. All right, so I'm going to home this. Now, 123D Design takes a little bit of a different approach than, say, Tinkercad. Um, Tinkercad really uses all 3D objects that you manipulate um, in the space. 123D Design uses a lot of 2D objects or drawings, um, what they call sketches. So in the primitives menu, you can see that we have all the 3D objects. But then when we get over to the right hand side, we have some sketches. So there's a rectangle sketch, a circle, an ellipse, and a polygon. So if I click on the rectangle sketch, it will let me drag a rectangle onto the work plane. And down here in the uh, bottom of the screen, it lets me set the length and width. And I can just change those by typing. So I set the length to 10. And then if I hit Tab, I can change the width. And I'll set it to, say, 50. And when I'm happy with the length and I've got the location that I want, I just hit Enter. And it'll place my rectangle. Okay. Um, to do something like a triangle, we can use the Polygon tool. And then I'll insert a sketch. And we can set the radius. I'm going to say a radius of 30. And then the sides, if I want to do a triangle, I would say three sides. Um, if I want to do like an octagon, I could say eight sides. Okay. And so 123D Design also treats objects very differently than Tinkercad does. So in addition to the solids and the sketches, okay, each solid is made up of a, a series of um, components. And so if I click on my solid to highlight it, um, I can hover over the edges, the faces, and the vertex or the points. Okay. And clicking each one of these will allow me to do different things to it. And you also have to make sure that when you're, you want to select something, that you are hovering over the right thing. So if I want to select this front face, I have to hover over the box so that it turns green and click it. And then I can move around, and I have to move off that face and back onto it, and it will turn green, and then I can select that face. Okay. Shapes are also made, or I'm sorry, sketch, <laughs> sketches are also made of a combination of objects. Um, so sketches have edges, okay, 
and points as well, or vertexes. And they have a face. Okay, so that will get us started with working in 123D design.